So today I wanted to talk about energy vampires. And a lot of us don't really think about them, but we all have them in our lives somewhere. Whether it's a friend or a family member or someone you just meet on the street. There's always people that seem to suck the energy right out of you. So much that you just need to get out of there, go recharge. And So a lot of the symptoms of an energy vampire are going to be after you hang out with them or even during, you're going to have brain fog, you're going to have depressed mood, or you might have um, feeling very sleepy or lack of motivation or irritability or fatigue. So you're going to have at least one of those or a combination of all of them. And as an energy vampire, they might not be totally aware that they are actually sucking your emotional energy out of you but a lot of them are and a lot of them feed off of this so what is some of the most common signs of an energy vampire one of the most common 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 signs is that they are a constant complainer you see nothing is ever good enough even the best is not good enough there's always a friend problem a parent problem boyfriend or girlfriend problem money problem they are never grateful for what they have they're always complaining to you they're always talking about how you know this went wrong this went wrong and you seldom ever hear them talk about what went right and they're always blaming other people no matter what even if they're obviously uh, wrong they're always blaming other people and so as you're around these types of people that are complaining constantly you see complaint is a very negative energy for one when you complain you're automatically in this victim mindset something has happened to you that's why you're complaining about it and it doesn't feel good to complain i mean think about it think about a time where you complained about something it doesn't feel good and these energy vampires do it so much but you see when they have someone else that comes inside you know maybe it's a new friend or you or someone else for you know for them to suck the energy out of they get a life force like they they feel alive because they get to suck that energy out of you so you get sucked of energy and they gain the energy so another big sign of an energy vampire kind of goes with the first sign and that is that they are professional victims professional victims they are very 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 good at playing victim they always seem to have been wronged and they never seem to be wrong they are so good at getting sympathy from people they need the sympathy from you in order to feed this obsession this this obsession with being a victim and a lot of the times they're a victim because something has happened to them in the past most of the time and to be honest a lot of these energy vampires have no idea that they're energy vampires they just notice that people start you know getting away from them because when you're around them you get sucked you get sucked of all your motivation your your just energy in general you may go home that day drive home that day and you have to like you have that feeling of like i need to shower this off this energy off you may come home and feel disoriented you know stuff like that and so the best thing to do is limit your contact with these people set boundaries for these people or if you can and if you want to then completely get rid of these people from your life because your energy is very important it's so important you are literally manifesting with your energy and if it's clouded and it's polluted by other people's negative perspectives on the world or when you just have you know none of it left What's there left to manifest? And so you start to, not only do these people suck the energy out of you, 
so you feel tired you're you know you're fatigued and unmotivated but they also if you let them leave a little imprint of their energy on you and so you might start to think like how they're thinking you might start to feel this sadness this sorrow this lack of motivation and you might start to think like wow i feel like you know crap after hanging out with this person but what you need to realize is that if you were fine before you hung out with this person if you were completely fine like you know you're happy you got some energy you're motivated you know all that stuff and you come home and you know you're tired unmotivated depressed disoriented yeah it sucks but you have to realize that it's not you it's not you at all and once you realize that you can wipe the energy right off of you so comment down below if you guys have an energy vampire in your life and what do you do about that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one